Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam Allah. Sheikh, I want to ask a question. Uh, I got married two years before. My husband uh, married second. Uh, he married second time uh, without knowing me. Just two months before, uh, he actually he cheated on me. He was in affair before getting married to that girl. So after I knew, I asked him to give me di- divorce. So he's not giving me divorce. He said no. I will not leave. Uh, he will not leave me. So what to do? This is something that can't be explained or discussed in few seconds because this is a life-changing decision. Number one, it doesn't matter whether he cheated on you or not because even if he did not cheat on you and he still went and married someone else, you would have asked for divorce and you would have been angry. Number two, if he did not marry and he continues to go and have a girlfriend in secret and you know about this, would you be happy or would you ask him to marry her? The vast majority of Muslim women, they would say, no, we're happy. As long as we are the single wife, let him cheat without any problem. A'udhu billah. What kind of a Muslim woman would encourage her husband to do such a thing? Thirdly, whether you want to stay in this relationship or not, this is entirely your own decision. If you ask him for, to divorce you without any legitimate reason, if he's capable of opening a house, providing for you, and being fair in distributing his time and his gifts, and he's doing everything that Allah told him to do, but still you are the one who doesn't want to, then you are in deep trouble. Because the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, any woman who seeks divorce without a legitimate reason, legitimate reason, she will not find the scent and fragrance of Jannah. And this is a very strong warning. So if you have a legitimate reason, you can apply for khulr. Go to the court and file a case against him, pay him the mahar back and get your freedom. He would be sad for a couple of weeks and he moves on with a new wife and probably take a second wife that is younger, more beautiful and more righteous. Life goes on. It's not going to stop. You, on the other hand, may find a big problem in three to six months time when you're all alone and nobody's proposing and maybe you don't have any financial means to take care of you. And then you start to regret and say, whoops, what have I done? But then there's no going back. If one goes to talk to him and say, why don't you reconcile with your ex-wife? He said, you're crazy. Now I've just tasted the taste of happiness, of being alone from a woman who nags and complains. I'm not accusing you. Don't judge me. I'm not going to judge you. I don't know you. But this is not the place to discuss these things. This requires a counseling session.